What we've been looking at recently is differences between closures, but more importantly, we've been looking at variations within individual types of closures, for instance, natural corks. A very important question is, if we think about bottles, if we think about wines bottled with uh, natural cork, then can a consumer actually taste the difference between individual bottles? So if we bottled 100 of these, could a consumer taste them after a year or so and actually taste differences between one bottle and the next? And the cause of that, we believe, could be attributed to the difference between individual corks. What we're doing is we've bottled 200, 200 bottles of Sauvignon Blanc with this closure with a natural cork, 200 with a synthetic cork, which looks like this, and 200 with a screw cap, that looks like this. And we're going to measure the color in the bottle every three months for the next year and a half. And at the end of that time, we'll be able to tell which of the bottles have gotten more oxidized than the others. So after a year, I hope, maybe a year and a half, um, we'll have groups of bottles, some of which have gotten dark and some of which haven't. And then the question is, uh, can a wine consumer tell a difference between the darkest bottles and the lightest bottles? And that'll answer the question. Can a consumer taste the difference in how the closures function? One of the interesting things about this particular experiment is we've actually collaborated with other professors in the School of Medicine and the School of Engineering, which is one of the great things about Davis. We have ag, engineering, medicine, and other schools all here in one place. And we actually scanned these corks, the naturals and synthetics, using a CT scanner, a research scanner that was developed by Professor John Boone. And then the images we collected were, are being given to Professor David Fury in biomedical engineering, and he's going to analyze them for the de any defects or irregularities in the corks to see if we can use the images to predict how much oxygen will go through a specific cork in the future. We think that's pretty cool.